Let's have a further look at the styling tools on HammerKit with a simple example. Here we have a page with some images and a list of books. Something is not quite right though. For example, the background color is pretty horrible, so we definitely want to change that, as well as the list font and header image. We'll also update the book list. Let's move on to the admin view of HammerKit to do the changes. We start by adding another book to the list in the data tool. Note that the tool tabs are shown in the lower panel once opened from the menu bar. You can easily create and manage MySQL databases for different types of information. We open the database, add a row, and type in the name and author. We also want to alter the header image, so we use the file manager to upload another image. Note that you can also leave the save as field blank, in which case the file will be automatically saved under the file name. We then use the CSS tool to alter the background tone by choosing a predefined color. However, the color is not exactly an eye pleaser, so we might as well check out the color tool and select another shade for the background. Always remember to save the changes. Now we are ready to wrap it all up in the component editor. We want the book list to look a bit more sophisticated, so we double click to open the text element and change the font and color in the style tab. Finally, we replace the header image with the one we uploaded in the file manager. Remember to save your changes. We can now admire the changes by clicking Preview. Looks a bit better, doesn't it? For more tips and tricks on how to use HammerKit, go to support.hammerkit.com.